Hello, welcome to Coelho's office. I don't need a glass. So I'm going to try to explain the process of writing a book and using Aleph as, as an example. Normally this is the question that journalists pose. Where does your inspiration come from? To generalize, there are two types of writers. One like Proust, like James Joyce, that they have this imaginary world very, very present in their life. So they don't really need to leave their room to write. And the other type is like Hambo, like Hemingway. They need to have experiences. Without comparing myself, of course, I'm much more linked to the second type of writers. I need to experience. So nearly all my books are a reflection of my experience. Having said that, let's go to Aleph. In 2006, I was in my comfort zone, there without, well, any challenge. At the same time, my life started to become very, very boring, very, well, I had no challenges anymore. It's not that life does not bring me challenges. It brings me challenges every day. Starting podcasts like this one is all one, one challenge also. And, and then, uh, for several reasons that eventually you may read the book, I went through a crisis of faith. And this crisis of faith led me to take three, four months on the road, three and another one. Uh, and during this journey, uh, I took this Trans-Siberian train. I was trying to find myself, not in the sense that I'm going to have answers to who am I, etc., but in the sense that I'm going to at least uh, be connected to the divine energy and to this energy that is always, always, always passing through every single human being. And uh, I took this journey without knowing where it is going to lead me, because if you know where you're going to arrive, there is no point. You don't need. You don't even need to travel if you already know the destiny. The important thing about life is is uh, being open to to the mystery, being open to adventure, something that we 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 really lost. So I took this journey, and during this journey, I took this Trans-Siberian train that was an old dream of mine to travel from Moscow to Vladivostok. And during this Trans-Siberian train, I had this strong experience. It was not my first time that I had this experience, but at, le but at least it was a moment that, that I understood this experience. I understood myself, which doesn't mean that I could write a book on it. And normally, many things that happen in my life, I never wrote a book about it because it is my experience to myself and I don't need to share, or probably I can't share. That was the question if I left. I felt I don't need to share this. And, uh, well, and suddenly I realized that it was only my experience. That four years went by, and one day I was in, in Davos, in Switzerland, and I had this kind of epiphany. I need to share this. And I know how to share this. Not that I know consciously. I know how to share this because, well, somehow understanding this experience, it was only now, it was only then, in Davos in 2010. So, I decided to write the book. Next podcast, I'm going to tell you how did I write the book. Thank you for your attention.